Welcome to Kid Connection. We are going to learn about the good news that God gave us in the Bible. Our episode is called Extreme Makeover, Thinking Like Jesus. But before we get started with that, we have to get, sing our startup song, Living Inside Out. Let's go. job. Now let's sing a song that reminds us how great our God is. Thankful. Let's go. Do I mean by extreme makeover thinking like Jesus? Hmm, what do you think extreme means? Um, 
let's say that I am being happy. And if I'm a little bit happy, I might look like this. Or if I'm a lot happy, I, I might look like this. But if I'm extremely happy, I could look like this. Wow. So you see, that would be like it is way past normal. Makeover means to change something and make it look different. When we are thinking like Jesus, because we have been given, we have given our hearts to him, he gives us an extreme makeover. We think and we act different. Our verse is have the same attitude as Jesus has, Philippians 2, 5. All right, we're going to practice that one. Let's say it together. One, two, three. Have the same attitude as Jesus has, Philippians 2, 5. You see, thinking and acting like Jesus, it's our goal, and that's our extreme makeover. When was the last time someone made fun of you? You did something and they told you how dumb you were or how slow you ran or how fat you are. Ugh, and your clothes are so out of style. Well, those words could really hurt you and make you sad. Maybe, maybe they even make you angry. Well, in 1 Samuel, there was a story of a woman named Hannah. She lived with her husband and her sister-in-law, Penny. Hannah had been married for a while, but she still not have, did not have a baby of her own. Penny, her sister-in-law, had several children. Hannah had none. Wow, Penny found that this was something she could do to hurt Hannah by saying, oh, you're not good enough to have children, or you don't deserve them. How do you think this made Hannah feel? Do you think she got angry at Penny and said terrible things to her? Well, I have something I want you to think about. So let's go to my kitchen. I have this glass of water. It's clear and delicious. And if I was thirsty, I would definitely take a drink of it. You know, it's like when we are thinking like Jesus. But wait, along comes someone and says something really mean to us, hurtful. And we say something really mean and hurtful back. Oh, our water's not as delicious looking as it was before. Hmm. Well then, we're outside playing with our friends and we fall down. And then everybody laughs at us and we say a nasty word back to them. And then what happens? Ooh. Our clear thinking of Jesus, thinking like Jesus, water, is no longer yummy looking. It's ugly. Wow. You know, it's times like these when we need to stop and remember the good things that God has given us. Hmm. Like our families, our friends, our homes, and food to eat, and especially that Jesus died for us. And he can make this glass of water clean again if we just ask. Watch this. Jesus, take away my sins and make me clean again. Amen. Good job. So, what did Hannah do? How did she handle Penny in the terrible way she felt hearing those hurtful words? Well, you know what she did? She prayed. She talked to God. She asked God to help her be kind to Penny. And you know, she also asked God 
to give her a child. Then she promised God that her child would always serve him. Well, after a while in the story, as it continues, God gives Hannah a baby boy. She named him Samuel. Hannah was very thankful for the good things God had given her. So she kept her promise to God, and when Samuel was old enough, she gave him back to God to serve him for the rest of his life. Well, you know, Samuel grew to be a great man who loved God, and he helped many, many other people to love God too. Hannah didn't try to hurt Penny or get back at her for the hurtful things she had said. Instead, she thanked God for the good things he had given her. Let's pray. Dear God, we just need to stop and thank you for the great and wonderful life you have given us. It's not perfect. There's not always perfect things happening to us. People hurt us, bad things happen, but nothing changes with you. You are always there. You are always helping us and directing us to do the right things. And thank you for loving us through all of the hurtful times. And help us, God, help me be thankful for the good things that you have given me. Amen. I asked you a question on our last video lesson. The question was, what is our goal? What is our goal? Several of you answered, I put your names in my basket. And the answer to the question of what is our goal? And our goal is to be like Jesus. Be like Jesus. That's our goal. Okay, all right. I'm going to draw. Oh, here. Oh, Charlotte. Charlotte, you're the winner. Look, Charlotte. You get to go to Starbucks. All right, Charlotte. Good job. All right, the rest of you, listen up. Here's the next question. What did Hannah ask for? What did Hannah ask God for? That's the next question. Send it to the email address on the screen and good luck.